morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. I've got my hair natural for the first time. It's like half up, half down, but I actually really like it. I have just filmed a video. I've got super, super neutral makeup on today, but I'm actually popping out to buy some stuff because um, this was being planned for a little while, but it only got finalized like yesterday. But basically I'm going on holiday tomorrow, um, but like kind of tonight. Um, so I need to pick up some bits and bobs. It was very, very spontaneous, very, very last minute. And I'm gonna, well, actually, you'll probably know where we're going by the time this vlog goes up. But I'm gonna bring you along today because I need to, like, pack and buy some bits and bobs. So I'm gonna go with Tom into town now and get some bits and stuff. Um, so I'm really excited for that, actually. It was very last minute. So all of the stuff that needs sorting needs sorting, like, right now. Um, so, yeah, basically that is the plan for today. So I'm gonna bring you along. Let's go. All right, so I've just come into Beverly and I've just bumped into these three viewers. I've got Alicia, Hannah, and Rebecca. Yeah, so there we go. I was like, I'm gonna get it wrong. But it's... It's lovely to meet you. Do you live in Beverly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Well, they've just bumped into me while I'm still waiting for Tom, but yeah, it was lovely to chat to you. Bye. <laughs> okay, Tom and I have just been in Costa. We've finished up having lunch now. We've just been reminiscing at old Facebook photos, and they're so yeah, embarrassing. Yours, just yours. Yeah, yeah, just mine. Because my Facebook's still on public. I need to go through and like private loads of pictures, but basically we were just laughing at my year seven Facebook photos because there are some gems hidden back on there. So I think I might do a reaction to my old Facebook video at some point, because that'd be so funny. Really reaction to your diary as well, I know, I will do that, but anyway, I think we're going to go into Poundland now and then we're going to head back. I need to pack and stuff. This eyebrow looks like really doddily filled in. Just ignore that. I'm looking at how like unevenly spread the powder is. Anyway, really care. I care. Well, anyway, I care. yeah, we'll go into Poundland. Oh, yeah, I can see enough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'm now back home and I'm in the process of packing and I've actually packed like most of the stuff for the main suitcase. Uh, we're not actually going for a week, we're going for like five days. So I didn't actually need to bring that much stuff because obviously it's like Spain. So I'm gonna be wearing like swimwear most of the time. So I don't actually have that much stuff that takes up space. But I did think that I would show you a what is in my hand luggage, like my carry-on bag. Um, I haven't really decided what bag I'm gonna take. Like I reckon that I'll be able to fit it all in um, this bag, which is, the handbag that I use quite often because um, obviously it's not really a long flight and um, because we're going tonight we're actually flying from Newcastle um, never flown from the airport before but we're flying from Newcastle so because we're staying over at the airport it means that um, all of the stuff that I need in the morning can then go back in the main luggage if that makes sense so I'm going to show you what I put in that bag I haven't packed it yet though but I will I will show you um, I'm charging my phone up at the moment I'm going to start reading this tonight as my first holiday book because I've had so many good things you guys rave about this book all the time so I thought start that on holiday um so yeah it should be very exciting I've just got a bit of a mess going on on my bed with some caramel shortbreads which I'm very excited to eat the only annoying thing is I'm waiting for a delivery and it hasn't arrived today and the people that are sending me it was like oh it'll be there before you go away don't worry about it and it's not being delivered and obviously now I'm not here until Sunday and the, there's no deliveries on Sundays so um unless well obviously it'll likely come while I'm not here but it's just a little bit annoying I've been waiting for it for like a week and a half now and it's still not arrived so yeah I mean I've got an email being like oh yeah it's on its way but obviously I'm not here so that's not that handy um but anyway yeah I'm just finishing up packing I think my brother's just finished up packing I'm not too sure what time we're leaving it's currently half past four so I think we want to get to Newcastle for like I don't know early evening like seven ish and Newcastle's like two hours away from here so yeah I've never actually been to Newcastle before in my vlog when I went to Edinburgh and we passed through I was like oh I've never been to Newcastle still won't have ever been but I've been through it and I'm gonna see the airport so I mean there you go. I hope it's got a duty free. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I've just gone changed into like my most comfy jeans and then this is my hand luggage here now at the moment it just looks like a bag of wires but these won't be in here so i thought i'd talk you through what actually is in here so basically i've got a makeup bag that is obviously clear so that then i can like take it out and my mic and my camera just because i don't really trust them going in like the main hold luggage just because they like throw them around and i don't actually have a case for this camera so i thought i'll just bring that I've got these two books this one is the book i'm studying for school so this is hard times by charles dickens it's very boring i don't recommend it um and then this one which is the one i want to start on the plane then I've got this eyeshadow palette because again I know that they throw the whole luggage around and I only bought this last week so I was like no <laughs> uh, and then I've got my purse and then down here I've got a spare change of clothes and some socks because you never know what's going to happen to your luggage and then I have a really hairy hairbrush that's disgusting it needs cleaning and then obviously I've just got these two cables which are the chargers for the camera the one I'm vlogging on now and the one that's in the bag but I am going to actually switch that to the whole luggage once I get to Newcastle so that then obviously like the stuff tomorrow like there won't 
won't be as much stuff in that bag. I'm also going to bring this chewing gum, the one that Tom got me last week. And then somehow I'm going to squish my laptop in this bag. Now, it doesn't have room to go in a laptop case, which is slightly concerning, but oh well. Um, <laughs> I just like, as long as the bag is with me, it doesn't really matter. Like, the laptop's got like a case on it anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, time to pack this. I get a lot of questions about the skin for this laptop. This is from Coconut Lane. If you are interested, you can get 20% off with my code BeautyBitchroom20. Ah, oh, shameless plug. Um, you can use it on anything on the Coconut Lane website and they have just launched some new stuff as well. Um, so check that out if you're interested. So there you go, that is everything. I've also got my two caramel shortbreads to eat in the car and I'm gonna tie my hair up now just because it's actually really winding me up right now. So I'm gonna take this scrunchie because I thought this would be ideal for like when you're going in the pool and stuff. Um, so I thought if I just go with the scrunchie in then yeah, I'm gonna have a tiny little ponytail creeping out, but oh well. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. There's gonna be that awkward in-between stage where like I need a jacket now to go to Newcastle because like, obviously it's gonna be cold, but then don't need a jacket any other time. So I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that I can't wear a jacket. Also, the only reason I'm wearing both necklaces right now is because I don't wanna pack them and like lose one of them. So yeah, that is an update of what's going down. Oh my God, nearly forgot my laptop charger. That would've been emotional. So we are now in Durham. I've actually never been to Durham before. I've never been to Newcastle. Um, we're at the service station. I think we're gonna get a McDonald's um, or like <coughs> a Burger King or something. Um, oh God, that car's reversing. <laughs> um, but yeah. Just it's raining. It was raining and it's cold. This is why you leave the country. Yeah, this is why you leave the country. So what are you going to get from McDonald's? What's your staple McDonald's order? Uh, chicken sandwich meal with cook. I've never had that. Get it. Shall I? Is it like a burger? I've got lettuce. And <laughs> Green stuff. So I just spent about five years picking my McDonald's. Oh, also, I really need to sort my hair out. Obviously, you can see that it's like... Why is it out of focus? Yeah, it's a mess right now. How would you feel? Where is our order? Where is 61? Why have all the other numbers been called? We are being mugged off. We are be 61. We've been on that list for ages. Where's our food? So we're about to pass the Angel of the North. I've actually passed this once before. I actually came to Annick when I was about 12 or 13-ish. Um, but I can't remember seeing the Angel of the North. Somewhere over there. In the meantime, we're just listening to some classic One Direction oh, yeah. tunes. Everybody's hating it. And I'm loving it, so there's that. Remember the day you were giving There she is. What actually is it? If somebody could give me a bit of history on the Angel of the North in the comments, I would be hugely appreciative. Okay, so we've arrived at the premiere in. I actually need to edit this vlog now because we need to get up at about five, half past four, like really, really early. Obviously, I need to sort my hair out. Um, our flights are at uh, seven in the morning. Yeah, seven. So we're flying out of Newcastle um, to Malaga and then, like, obviously, we're going to Ben... Costa del Sol. Me trying to say Bella Bella, yeah, there we go. Anyway, I thought I'd do room tour. We are just staying in a premiere and they all look the same, but... Here is the bathroom. It looks... Looks like a bathroom. Here are the beds as modelled by Harry. Made Harry sleep in the camp bed because he doesn't deserve this bed because I'm the bigger person, so. I'm taller than you. You are not taller than me. You will, I refuse to believe that you're taller than me. That's just not okay. And then you've got suitcase. Oh, cheeky bit Coronation Street on the telly. Love Coronation Street. And yeah, there's the door again. So that's it. The lighting in here is very nice. So I'll give it that. Obviously I won't be making the most of it because all I'll be doing is um, taking my makeup off and then obviously I won't really fly with any makeup on because there's no point. Then when I get there, I won't really be wearing makeup in the next couple of vlogs. So that'll be really great for you. You'll absolutely love seeing me look like a naked rat. So that's cute. Um, but anyway, right now I just need to like sort my hand luggage out a bit and edit this vlog so that it's ready for tomorrow night. I'm gonna upload it tonight because I know the premiere and Wi-Fi, although it's bad, it does work and I don't know what the Wi-Fi will be like where I am. I'm sorry that I'm talking in here, there's like a horrible fan noise. Mm. Harry has problems. So I've just taken my makeup off and I have just been watching for probably like an hour all of the Sidemen diss tracks with Harry because obviously Harry watches like the Sidemen and stuff and I've heard of them. Like obviously I've heard of KSI but I don't really know like that area of YouTube. Um, but I've been seeing all the beef happening on like Twitter and I was like I don't really get this. What's happening? And it's been appearing on my like YouTube recommended and I'm like I don't get this. So I just got caught up on all of that. Yeah, Harry, that's really annoying. So I've just been watching that for like an hour and I don't know whether to laugh at it or not, but I did find it quite funny. Um, and I really wish, like, I, I like diss track videos. They're really funny. So yeah, I've watched like all of those for the last hour. Now I need to have a really quick shower and go to sleep. It's like 10 o'clock and we need to be up at like half past 
for five o'clock. Oh, so I'm gonna go and have a shower now. I'll pick you back up in the morning, which will probably be mainly like a travel vlog tomorrow. So yeah, be sure to be subscribed if you're not already and you wanna watch that and I will see you all then. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Wi-Fi providing. Um, so yeah, bye. You said you wanted me to be in the vlog. Oh, yeah. You didn't even vlog me. No, no. <laughs> sorry. He's just barricaded himself in the bed. <laughs> I hope you leave that in. I'm not gonna leave that in. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what are you actually hiding from right now? It's every day, bro. I said it's every day, bro. We've also been watching Jake Paul. Do you reckon I can fall through that gap? Yeah, you can totally fall through that gap. Are you? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to fall off the bed? I'm not. I'm just. Uh, All right, don't mess <laughs> What are you doing? You just blend into the bed in. Yeah, I'm white. A lot of it. <laughs> Can you make a diss track on me? I already have. Can what I hear it? Can it? I hear it? You said you wanted to be in your own diss track. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not how it was. No, but imagine it. No, ima no, imagine how good it would be if the side men did like a huge diss track on KSI and then at the end KSI just popped out and was like joking because it's obviously all a joke, innit? Ooh. Ooh. I'm cutting this out, obviously. Bye.